In this video, we're gonna be going over the pros and the cons of living in Corona, California. I'm gonna be giving you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm gonna get really down to the nitty and gritty. So hopefully you guys understand what Corona, California has to offer. So stay tuned, cause we're gonna get after it right now. This is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in Corona, California, then you guys subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current real estate market in Corona, California. Hi, you guys. My name is Jonathan Hernandez. My team and I get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Corona, California, and we absolutely love it. So whether you guys are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom one-on-one -on -one so we can get face-to-face. -face. We would love to help you guys make that smooth move to Corona, California. You guys, Corona, California was once known as the lemon capital of the world. Today, they have a population of over 165,000 people. With a population that big, you guys, it, it is a dense urb, uh, suburban feeling when you do live there. It is a thriving city with a lot to offer, you guys. It offers a variety of different things that you guys can do, you know, such as rec small recreational activities or, you know, big time events. They have outdoor shopping centers that you guys can go to, or if you guys want to just wine and relax, USA, you guys can go to the hot springs in Corona, or you guys want to enjoy the day, you know, learn some history, you guys can go to the museum, you guys can go to the racetrack, you guys can go do many different things in Corona, California. That's one great feature of Corona is that they have variety of options of like endless things to do, amazing restaurants, some amazing people, great public transportation. So if you guys don't feel like driving in the city, you guys, they have buses, they have taxis, they have other little uh, transportation services they do provide in Corona, California, and they're only getting better and better with it. And so that's a pretty neat feature of, you know, living in Corona itself. Now, I really want to get down to the nitty and gritty of the pros and cons, the goods, the bads, the ugly, right? Now, like my mom always used to tell me, what do you want first? Do you want your desserts or do you want your veggies? Well, I always wanted my dessert. I always got my veggies first. Now, in this case, I'm gonna give you guys your desserts first, so let's get into the pros of living in Corona, California. Pro number one of living in Corona, California, you guys, is gonna be the drum roll, please. It's gonna be the education. Now, what about the education, Jonathan? Well, the education in Corona, California actually ranks higher nationally and statewide than other similar cities compared in its size. Now, with over 50 public schools and over 20 private schools, there's many tip, uh, different types of varieties of factors that get kind of put into play when they are ranking education. Now, I'm not just talking again about academics, you guys. We're talking about the student to teacher ratio. We're talking about the enrollment rate. We're talking about the graduation rate. We're talking about all these other factors that kind of make up what a good education system is. And Corona, California has that. So if you do have, if you're anything like me, and you do have kids or cousins, fams, uh, family of nieces, nephews, aunts, cousins, aunts, uncles, dogs, cats, whatever the case may be, you guys, if you're looking for a great education system, Corona, California, might just be for you. So that's why we are saying that the number one pro of living in Corona, California, you guys, it's the education. So pro number two of living in Corona, California, you guys, is going to be the crime. Now, again, similar to education, crime actually ranks lower nationally and statewide than other similar cities of its size. Now, with a population of over 165,000 people, that is pretty impressive, right? Well, they have a great law enforcement over there. They got a great city council. I know some of the law enforcement guys over there, 
They're great people. I'm, gr I'm glad that they're serving and protecting the community. They take very great care of the community and of all, you know, the residential people that live there. So you don't really have to worry too much about, you know, a murder happening or being robbed in, you know, the middle of the street or anything of that nature. Now, I'm not going to say that crime does not happen in Corona, California. Yes, occasionally there will be some crime out there being done. There's crime every day that's being done. However, it's just that Corona actually ranks better in their crime compared to other city, cities similar of its size, which again, is pretty impressive, impressive considering that it does have a population of over 165,000 people. But overall, the crime rate is actually just really well in Corona, California. And that's why we're naming the crime as pro number two of living in Corona, California. Now you guys, pro number three of living in Corona, California, you guys, it's going to be the weather. Now, if you don't know this, this is a good fun fact. Every place that you go to that you live at, there is a comfort rating on the weather. And Corona, California's comfort weather rating is a 8.7 out of 10. That is a really high rating. So you know you don't have to worry too much of some nasty weather. Well, what do you mean nasty? Like when I mean nasty, I lived in the South for nine years of my life. And I just remember that humid, sticky feeling in the air that was kind of gross. Like if I just walked outside my, my house, I would instantly start sweating just because it was that humid, right? Or when I go to Vegas or, you know, some parts of Arizona, like maybe phoenix where it's just super dry weather and you just can't even breathe you're like trying to gasp for air right well you're not gonna have that issue in corona california majority of the year it is really sunny which is really great yes there can be times where it gets extremely hot but that's a very few in between in the summer days but it can get a little bit over 100 degrees here and there in Corona, California, but majority of the time, you guys, it's just a nice, bright, sunny day. It doesn't snow whatsoever, so don't worry about you picking up a snow shovel and trying to, you know, clear out your little parkway. Uh, hardly ever rains. I will say that it does hardly ever rain in Corona, but the comfort rating uh, in Corona, California, guys, is just so highly rated because you just get that all year beautiful Southern California sunny amazing days like i love it not every place in southern california is like that so i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you guys not every place is like corona california or oceanside or san diego it doesn't have these amazing comfort ratings now overall southern california does but corona california actually ranks a little bit better better than majority of the cities out here now not compared to the beach but i'm talking about the inland cities and so that's why we're saying the weather is actually pro number three of living in Corona, California. Now you guys, I am going to be going over the fourth and final pro. I'm finishing your guys' dessert. So the fourth pro of living in Corona, California, you guys is gonna be the jobs. Now the jobs, the employment rate, uh, the business growth, everything in Corona, California is actually really, really well. There's a thriving economy like I stated earlier. They're a really well-funded community, very nice, urban feeling the jobs in corona california are are there that's just bottom line uh they're there now surrounding cities around it not so much like if you go to let's say maybe you know uh i'm trying to think of a smaller city like eastvale or, or a smaller city like norco not a whole lot going on i knew eastvale has like amazon there and the warehouses in corona california you guys have a variety of options of employment to choose from which is really really great so if you are looking to move to corona you know you can get a job within the city now if you do work outside the city that's completely different but there is opportunity and growth inside corona california and that's why we're naming that the fourth pro of living in corona california now you guys it's time for your veggies so let me get into your guys's cons Con number one of living in Corona, California, you guys, it is going to be none other than the traffic, right? The traffic in Corona does 
bottom line, it just sucks, you guys. It is really bad. They've been trying to work on it. It's just so congested. You know, in between that 91 uh, freeway that they've actually expanded and added the toll, um, the toll roads there, the fast track, they've added the fast track there. They're trying to work on it. You know, they have the 15 freeway. They have a variety of different options of transportation that they're trying to offer now. Um, it's still not working. The traffic in Corona, California, you guys, is just... It just sucks. It is very well, very much congested. So if you're assuming a drive might take 15 minutes, you know, during the busy hours, during the traffic times, you better double that or more because you will be backed up, you know, light to light, like bumper to bumper. It does get pretty bad. Now, if you guys are working outside the city, you better believe it's not going to get any better. If you work outside the city, trying to come back into Corona again during traffic hours or rush hour, you guys, it's just gonna be a little bit of a nightmare. Now there is ways ar around it. They are creating these cool things and incentives for people to carpool now and use different modes of transportation. So they are working on it. However, as of right now, me speaking, currently present in the flesh, the traffic, it is very much there. It is very much live and it's not going away anytime soon. So that is why we're naming traffic as con number one. Now you guys, your second con, final con, all your veggies right here, you guys, it is the nightlife. Well, what about the nightlife, Jonathan? I'm gonna elaborate just a little bit more. The nightlife, if you are a younger, you like to go out, maybe you like to party or club, Corona California just might not be the place for you. It is kind of more of a quiet residential type of community now, I'm not saying that there's not things out there to do in the night. Yes, there is a couple bars you can go hang out with. But if you're one of those persons that, you know, likes to go bar hopping or clubbing and dancing and doing all these things, you might have to seek to kind of do those things outside to, in different other major cities. You know, you can go to Newport or downtown or I'm sorry, Old Town Temecula. It will be a little bit of a drive where you could go to Riverside, California. However, in Corona, California itself, the nightlife is not much alive when it comes to doing those kind of activities. There is restaurants, some bars, again, different type of things that, you know, probably won't stay out till, uh, you know, two in the morning. So don't expect that. But there is other different types of options. But that type of nightlife, you will not find it in Corona, California, you guys. So that is the whole wrap up of all your pros, all your cons. I hope you guys enjoyed your desserts. I hope you guys enjoyed the veggies. Now what I'm gonna do with you guys, I'm gonna share a quick little market recap of the current real estate market in Corona, California. So let's get after that right now. All right guys, so here we are market recap time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. I hope it was useful, made some sense, and I hope it gives you guys some insight on what Corona California has to offer, the do's, the don'ts, you know, and everything in between. You guys, overall, Corona California, it is a great place to live. It is an ideal location to be at, considering that you can probably be in the beach within 45 minutes that fly. Uh, you can be at the beach in 45 minutes or you can go to Old Town Temecula, which is a really cool, neat place to go. You can go to downtown Riverside. You know, you can go to Irvine. All of these great other places to go is within a 45 minute drive, which is really, really cool that you have these options so close to you. Now, I'm saying very, you know, 45 minutes like it's nothing. Uh, to some people that might be a lot, but to me, given California, I don't think 45 minutes is a very long drive. Now again, the, the location is ideal. The crime is significantly lower than the national and the statewide average. The education is really great. The jobs is there. I definitely think the pros outweigh the cons of living in Corona, California, but you know, to each their own, everybody has your own opinion. I would love to know your guys' opinion. So if you got, could comment down below, that would be amazing. I want to know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned and watching this whole video. Thank you guys for watching Living in South California.